Say hi. Hi, everyone. Say hi. Say hi. Okay. No more kids. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Go on. Hi, everyone. As you can go see on, today, man. we are our, our pups want to be front and center. Yes. Attention, hogs. It's both of the white dogs. The fluffy white yeah. ones. <laughs> have you gotten more done on your Apollo? Um, or have you been uh, Miss Gizmoda? Yeah, so I did one more section on the custom, the Apollo custom. But um, I have been focusing all, like, most of my attention on Gizmonda, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm... Uh, a little over halfway done. So we'll see. May, there may be a chance that I finish this kit by the end of the, the event. I just we shall it. see. Hi, Poodle Paw, Skeptic Cat, Lori, Sarah, Tamara, is it Isu? I hope I got that right. Oh, and. Yeah. Isu is um, dominant. That's my my child that went from my teaching. Oh, oh okay, cool, cool, cool. And um, Melissa, hi everyone, coming in and popping on on chat. Um, are you working on something today, Jade? Yes, I'm still working on my um, like pixel charted kit that I was working on the last time I saw you. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get my logbook, I will show you, but I'm not doing that right now because my son is being insane. Okay. My uncle's revving his um, motorcycle outside, so my dog's like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I just took Apollo out for a short walk because it is snowing like crazy here in Colorado, or at least where I'm at. And so I took him for a super short walk and um because it's like wet snow, so I was like getting all wet and gross. And I was like, come on, we'll play inside. So we played tug of war for like 20 minutes, but he still has so much energy. So when he's a snow dog, he's probably like, What do you mean yeah. I'm outside? You're like, I'm yeah. cold and sick. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, we gotta get inside. If it was like powdery light snow, I'm fine, but it's like super slushy. <laughs> Hi, Amber, Angela. Like a so, decent amount of snow, snow once, and that was last year. Uh -huh. I think it was like February 13th or something. Mm -hmm. Right, It was like a couple days after um, the tiny house flooded. Um, oh, yeah. And there was just, it was like four hours of constant snow. And it's so weird because we're in the desert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we get it. I mean... It snowed as late as like, I remember one time I went on a hike on my birthday, which is June 22nd, and it was snowing in the mountains. I was like, what the heck? What the heck? Um, what the heck? Okay, I think I finished that color. So yeah, I got, I'm halfway through. Um, oh, I'm just going to check. Uh, hi, Angela. Allison said, hello, Jade. Hello, Anthony. Missed your last uh, live. Oh, missed you last week. Hope you're feeling better. Yes, I am feeling better. I started feeling sick a Thursday last week. And then on Friday, I was like down for the count. So I was like completely out. And I'm just now yesterday started to feel better. So I'm a little stuffy still a little bit of a cough, but I'm doing good recovering. So thank you. <laughs> Um, just grabbing another color here. Um, is, oh my gosh, am I not going to remember her name? Serena? Is that her oh, name? Oh, she, she's on a, an adventure with a group of lesbians. Um, it's, there's like a birthday party she's going to, so she's going to be gone for the weekend and I have her pup right here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Did I see that um, either a photo of hers or something is now on the shop? Yes. Do you want to share? Yeah. So on her um, travels, because uh, if anybody watches her channel, she lives in a van 
a majority of the year and travels to different um, like national parks and everything. Mm -hmm. And on those trips, she does photography. So let me show you this week's drop. We have, I think, 12 drops this week. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it, it was a busy week. Hold on, screen share. <laughs> Let's see them. So we'll go through those and then we will also share Serena's. So um, here are the first four. It's Serpent Serpentine by mm -hmm. Elfar. There's the mm -hmm. Moon of the Moon, which is Harmony Gong. There's Rose Eternal uh, by Anna Dittman, which I'm still stoked that we got Anna Dittman as an artist. And we have another artist that we're like, we, we got a, a, a contract for, we're just waiting for the go ahead on pictures. So I'm excited for that. Um, we got a new Mari 945. This is um, yes. inspired by Thumbelina. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been getting messages all week. Who is that supposed to be? It's Thumbelina. <laughs> and then here is Serena's uh, photography. Yes. That, um, so she she took the photo and then I altered it in Photoshop to make it you know more pleasing for diamond painting. Um, and she yeah. has a lot more photos that we're going to do that with. Uh, but this that is, is awesome. That's uh, is that from uh, Zion? I think you know? so. It's the Narrows. It's yep. called the Narrows. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, and that's then, awesome. Because I mean, more people were asking for more um, landscapes, and I haven't had any luck finding landscapes art landscape artists. Um, uh -huh. So really. I think I only have like two landscape artists. Like Marta sometimes does some landscapes. Then we have mm -hmm. right here, this is another new drop, uh, the Meadow Cottage uh, by Opal Via. Um, so Opal mm -hmm. Via and Marta were the only ones really having any type of uh, landscapes. So now we have another landscape artist added to the mix. That is awesome. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, ooh, I really like that. Yeah. And then we have another from. Laroc Blue Heart. I don't know if that's how you say her username. It's Lahark. I don't know. I don't know, man. But this is, <laughs> this is another uh, Mario inspired inspired panel. Uh huh. And there's five up so far. There's one more that'll drop. Then we have nice. the magician. She so um no. Natasha Ilinik, I'm not sure how you say that, but um, she has like a collection of like tarot cards. So this is the mm -hmm. magician. And oh, okay. I love how like like dreamy yet still like mm -hmm. like you know not edgy. Edgy is not the word. Um, I'm not having words today. <laughs> well, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last four, these are all new old masters. So mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people have requested Soul of the Rose by John William yep. Waterhouse. So we have added that. Nice. Then we have Fairy Tale by uh, Warwick Goebel. Mm hmm. And um, I really like this artist. It's like a very old timey watercolor artist. Yeah, when I first when I saw that on the site, I didn't I didn't even think it was an old masters until I read the date. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. Nineteen ten. Yeah, that's awesome. And then there is the card ship, uh, where I'm pretty sure he's like cheating playing cards. Mm. And then there is Cleopatra on the terrace by Frederick Arthur Bridgman. Fantastic. Cool. Those are awesome. So many old masters. Yeah. Well, as more, so when people request customs, I just add them to the site because I'm like, why not? Yeah. And yeah, um, might as well. Yeah. And then, uh, so as we're approaching summer with the masters, which you're hosting with Diamonds and Washi, uh, I'm just getting more and more masters up there as people request them. Sweet. That's exciting. Well, thank you for putting all the work into getting those rendered and stuff. 
Allison has a question for me. She said, um, what criteria do I use when I classify rendering for recommended? It's often not the largest size. So that just means that's the smallest I would personally go. Um, so, and if there's two recommended size, it's usually the larger one is if it's a round, the smaller if it's a square. Of course, the larger is always going to be clearer. It's always going to be bigger. It's always going to be a little bit better. But I recommend is, is, is the smallest I would personally go if I want a crisp image. So yep. that's how I decide on recommended. Cool. Yeah, I like that you provide that um, that recommendation because a lot of times I just naturally gravitate towards the absolute biggest. But yeah. then the past few ones that I've purchased, I'm like, I think I'm just gonna go with the recommended size because I have a lot of giant diamond paintings. <laughs> it's funny. So like, as you know, I do customs and everything. And somebody mm -hmm. requested, she got 12 customs. Mm -hmm. And at first I was like, uh i do you just want renders like or are you actually planning to buy these because 12 is a lot to render at once if you know it's not going towards something she's like no i want to buy every single one and i was like are you oh. positive she's like yes and i was like okay so i got them rendered and she was like i want them all at the largest size i'm like okay oh my goodness that's a that lot thing yeah that was interesting that was last week um i'm not yeah. sure if she watches my channel she might but that, I was I was shocked. I've never had that large of a custom order. Yeah, that's good though. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'm happy that I got Gizmonda at this size for sure. Like it's gonna look so good once it's all done. But yeah, sixty by one hundred and eighty is just um, it's a project for sure. But it's it's going well. I so I finished half of it. Um, so I'm halfway done and then I flipped it. So now I'm working top down and I'll just meet myself in the middle because it's just too long. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm really happy with it. It looks so good. I haven't shared an update since I finished the halfway point. So I'll put that up tonight or tomorrow. But yeah. Yeah, I've made um, only a small progress on um, the Cardinal's portrait. I've only finished like one twelfth of it because mm -hmm. like, with, with old masters, I just like I know that I need to just do like a like a thirty by like a, a thirty thirty by forty, uh -huh. or else I will get burnt out on it. So I I, yeah. just, I did a little corner and I actually compared it to the previous custom I got from Mary Simons, and mm -hmm. oh my god, a world of difference. Good, good. That's exciting. <sighs> um yeah i i typically i typically would you know maybe start feeling a little bit of burnout on a project this size and need to switch to something else but the colors um not so much the like ivories and the bright colors which i just i have a break from now because i'm done with majority of the background but like these burnt oranges and browns and greens and stuff they're like so comforting to me like i'm in the mood for these type of like neutral hues so it's just like such a cozy project to work on. Yeah. And there's so much confetti in it that it's like a little bit of a puzzle and I'm actually really enjoying that right now. So it's been so relaxing working on this kit. It's fantastic. So good work. Thank you. Mm -hmm. hey, um, I edit every single image. So when people compliment me, I, I take it personally. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, Lisa said, hi, Jade and Anthony in chat. Hi. Poodle Paws said, I'm working on a little Alphard kit for the event Mischievous Woods. Oh, nice. Oh, that um, was really pretty. Yeah. Angela said, I really love Serena's kit. Planning on getting it. Nice. And then she also said, Anthony's completion of Soul of the Rose makes me want to grab that one. Yeah, that was my first summer with the Masters kit that I did was Soul of the Rose. And I really like that. My I gave that to my uncle. He, he has it framed in his basement. Hold on. No, you're fine. Um, Sarah said, really nice selections, Jade. Um, also said, Jade, I have a question. I submitted a request for a custom that's an old Masters. How long should I expect before hearing back so I can place an order? I'll kick that over to you, Jane. Oh, she she's on mute. Hold on, everyone. She's screaming obscenities right now. You can see it. Read her lips. 
Oh my gosh, potty mouth. Sa cussing like a sailor over there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it would, everyone pray for her. <laughs> wow. So abusive, Jade. <laughs> I think I've gotten them to stop barking. <laughs> oh my God. Emma, quit it. <laughs> I like your commentary. Like, oh, nothing up the store. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, 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 very funny. <laughs> Um, did you hear that the question from Sarah? Um, so customs take usually I I get the renders during the week and usually around every Monday is when I uh message the renders. So if like it's been a full week since you submitted something, you should check your junk mail because uh I I got them out. But if you submitted them after Monday, then it's very likely that I have not seen it yet. There are three in my pending folder right now. So you're if on you're it. Holly Kim or Tiba, then I have not gotten you it. But other than that, it should be in your uh, spam folder if you don't see it. Cool. Oh my gosh, Apollo hair all over this canvas. Oh, um, so, I put up oh, wallpaper. Yes. I put up wallpaper. Oh my gosh, I love it. It took me eight I didn't hours even notice. on wall. Yeah, but wallpaper's a pain. Yeah, my That looks really good. My husband's a fancy boy and this is the wallpaper he chose. And then we're gonna Ooh. display, he has like, um, war replica airsoft rifles so mm -hmm. that and then we're gonna get velvet curtains so we can close them because he said that he wants me to be able to live stream downstairs without getting demonetized so i'm like it's fine and he's like no we will have curtains i'm like okay <laughs> cool i um i've seen his collection before on one of your older lives yeah and it's gotten bigger oh nice but I, I have a couple of buddies that I don't know if I told this story, but um, like I don't know, eight months ago or so, uh, mm -hmm. there was an incident at my in-law's house. It had nothing to do with me or my husband. It just it was an incident, and um, the police came into our house or his parents' house and busted down our bedroom door. Uh huh. And my dogs ran at them because they thought they were going to attack me. My husband was in the bathroom, so he wasn't even there. And yeah. uh, I was just like sitting there gobsmacked. And then I'm like, let, let me get my dogs. I'm so sorry. Cause you know, you don't know what to do when like, you're just chilling yeah. and then police bust into your room. And oh then, um, so they bust in and then I grab my dogs and, and then I'm like closing the door so that the dogs can stay. And I'm like, Oh, I'll come out. They're like, ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you, are those real weapons? And I'm like, no, they're airsoft. I was so scared. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my gosh, that's I crazy. Be myself. Yeah, I can only imagine. I'd flip out too. Yeah, that was that was an interesting day. Yeah. Well, hopefully that never happens again. Well, that's what happens when you live next to an empty field and people like to run away and hide. Ah, I see. So yeah, I have um, to us. we didn't do anything illegal, I swear. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um what was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm uh, I'm still recovering everyone. <laughs> um the Eve mental said, here. Yes. Um, Dragon Wing said, hi, Jade and friends. Hi. Sarah said, thanks, Jade. She'll look for it. Eve said, notice the wallpaper right away. And Sarah said, oh my gosh, I bet that was scary. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Yeah, that was an intense, like, hour. Yeah. 
And then uh, I, I just kept, well, cause like my husband, he's like this big, like, you know, if, if, if you don't know him, you're like, he, he looks like intimidating because he just mm-hmm. has a big serious face with a big old mustache. And I'm like, mm-hmm. my husband is here. Like he's not doing anything wrong. Like I promise he's just using the bathroom. Like, please don't hurt him. And then the cop was like, we're brown. You don't have to warn us. And I'm like, because <laughs> one of the officers were black and one of them was Mexican. And I was like, well, you never know. You just see the news, okay? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. That's and you're in the murder capital of the world. Or the United States, at least. Yeah. Um... I'm just sorry. I'm like, try, I'm like at the point in this kit where there's so much confetti. So I'm like trying yeah, not to please. miss one, but yeah. it's like almost, I always miss one, but it's not a problem. Yeah. My grandma, she just barely started diamond painting and she's doing her first jade kit and she was not prepared for what confetti is like. She's like, oh, <laughs> away in the container and then there's one more. I'm like, yep, yep. you've all been there. Yep. That's how it goes. Da, da, da. Okay, cool. That looks good. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments if you're working on a kit for the event, how things are going, progress, if you've started one. Let us know. Um, do you have, I know that we had made this commitment to like do a little book report on the images. Do you have anything to share? <laughs> so, um... I can share, let's see, let me go to our canvases. Oh no, okay. un momento, por favor. Oh, by the way, here, let me share this. Uh, I, I don't know if I shared it already, but there, there, we do have a collection put together. So it's easy to find me and use um, collaboration right here. Let me see. You click on oh, it. Oh my gosh. That's and so it's right awesome. here. Yeah. So it's it's under collections, JGS X single and placing. And here you are, are amazing. Yay. Okay. So I'll t- before you before you before you start your book report, I will say that I'm gonna be getting the um I have five more, the rest of our collection. I'm going to be ordering those. Oh my God. And, and once that's done, um, I'm, t- I'm not buying any more diamond paintings. Just like, just flat out. <laughs> like ever or until you finish some? Well, I mean, until I finish what I have. Yeah. So, I mean, that's going to take a little me. Bit. Essentially, essentially, yeah. I'm going to do a D stash, but I mean, at, at this point, I have enough kits to probably keep me busy for five years at, at least. So, yeah, just financially, I, I, it's time for me to start saving for a house. I'm, I took up an entire shelf in a two-car garage of di- for, just with diamond paintings, and it's almost mm-hmm. full. So it's just enough's enough. And, um, yeah, I'm going to keep diamond painting, of course, but I my last purchase will be all jaded gem shop kits. <laughs> Unless you do something crazy and I have to get something, but um, well, who knows? But yeah, you might. Who knows? Who knows? Well, but somebody, yeah, I, uh, I had a YouTube friend who's actively trying not to purchase, and I posted uh-huh. something. She was like, "I need it, though. I need it." Uh, yeah, it's so it's tough with with the your releases because I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. Like every week, there's something that I want. But yeah, it's just gotten a little out of hand again. And I don't want to do a D-stash because I don't like shipping things from my own house and the packaging. Amazing. It's just a lot. So I'm like, you know what? E- enough's enough. I have 120-something diamond paintings. All of them are ginormous. So let's just call it a day. <laughs> See, I, so, yeah. You know what? Funny enough, I don't have that large of a stash comparatively to like some people. Um, uh, I, think I, I think my stash is like at 60. Yeah, that's a, that's good. That's good. And, but, and also, if you ever need something, you can always just order it. You know, like you have easy yeah. access to get that stuff if you need it. But 
I'm just running out of space. And now that I, yeah, I'm just like, it, I'm taking up so much room with all this stuff. And a lot of them are just giant kits. It's just not super practical, but who knows? I have been really good though. Like I always say that, and then a new you may art will come out and then I have to buy it, but I've skipped the last like four or five you may art kits that have come out. I'm just like, no, I can't, I gotta stop. Yeah, I, I love them both, but I'm not gonna do it. I have to stop. Anthony needs a house so he can put more diamond paintings in that house. Hell yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and also just to give everyone a heads up, um, I'm gonna be hopping off early. Um, to I have dinner plans tonight. Um, there was a news article that came out that announced that Red Lobster might be filing for bankruptcy. So I'm going to Red Lobster just in oh. case I don't get to go again. <laughs> So, yeah. No. <laughs> no. But but I don't want to miss I don't want to say that I didn't get to go, you know. It's it's mediocre. It's mediocre. Also, we're in Colorado, so it's like see the our bar for seafood is very low in a landlocked state, so Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to steamroll that. No, you're good. But, um, you know, what's funny, I'm not a seafood person and I'm in California. Like, if I if if there's a place to be a seafood person, California is one of the places. And I just it's not you're the not into it. And my husband loves seafood and he's always like, oh, why don't we go get mariscos? And I'm like, yeah, no, no. no yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, I I have to be in a particular mood. Um I used to be way more into seafood than I am now, but um but I'll do it tonight. I'm going to get I'm going to get the whole shebang. Do it up. Take pictures. Okay, I will. We've got, I've got a couple of friends and we're like chain food, chain restaurant pals, so every couple of months we'll like pick a chain restaurant to go to yeah and so there can we're, i'm meeting them over there so what's with all the the seafood places closing like there's like no long john silvers here anymore either oh really i guess i haven't i haven't been to a long john silvers in a long time but that yeah i don't know the only seafood i would eat yeah well it's that's just kind of like fish and chip style stuff yeah yeah i like crab legs um i like uh, lobster bisque oh my gosh i love that um and i like ceviche which obviously I don't have oh, ceviche lobster, is but, good. yeah um but yeah when i saw that news article pop up i was like no um let's see uh allison said uh, confetti is great. The more, the better. Lori said, I love confetti too. Angel said, I've been skipping around to different jade kits, but right now I'm working on anything for you. Princess Arn Dan Danity. Um, I'm pretty sure I started this kit in 2022. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Allison said, Anthony. Yeah, right. I'm trying. I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm trying so hard. Kay said, Anthony famous last words. Yeah. I just, I don't know. My, maybe my feelings will change, but I'm just like, I feel like I'm drowning in in canvases. Um, Dragon Wing said, this is Jade who we are talking about. She's going to do something crazy. <laughs> Tamara said, the Eros kit arrived this past week, but my brother wants me to work on the accolade. Oh, I don't know which one that is. You'll have to, is that a Jade a gem shop kit? When she's off mute, maybe yeah, she'll it's confirm. Yeah, it's, it's oh, a okay. Jade gem shop kit. Hold on. My dog okay. just want to be wilding. No, that's okay. Let them oh, go crazy. Oh, yeah. They're dogs. That's what they're supposed to do. Skeptic Cat said, almost one row of the reader done. Had to slow down because uh, sprain my CMC joint. Oh, no. And my thumb's in a splint. Oh, no. Ugh. I'm sorry. And Sarah said, I hope you enjoy all the good food, Anthony. Yes, I'm very excited. Uh, Tamara said, I miss fish tacos. Um, you know, what? One um, one thing that um me and uh katie over at diamonds and washi i think she's mentioned it on her channel before um 
but she likes the shrimp tacos from Cafe Rio. Have you ever had those? Me? No. Okay. They are fantastic. And I had those last night and I forgot to send her a picture. Because <laughs> usually I'm like, I'm doing Thursday tacos. You like pizza. And Kate, <laughs> Kate said, if you ever watch Leon the Lobster on YouTube, you'll never eat lobster again. Oh, I don't want to. No, I don't want to ruin it. Maybe once they go bankrupt, then I'll, I'll, I'll watch that. I've watched some pretty horrible stuff on like the PETA YouTube channel and it hasn't stopped me from eating. But anyway. I got very focused on this color. Yeah, me too. I'm sure I got, I just finished. I love this color, this shade. I guess it's almost Jade. It is 966. That might be Jade. Hold on. Let me look it up. And then there's 989. That's a, oh, that's a little too green. It's teal. It's medium teal. Medium teal. I like it. That's one of my favorites in this. I think, I think 564 or something like that is Jade. Like technically like it's mm. Jade. Mm -hmm. Let's see, five, six, four. I don't have that color in this kit. But there's some a lot of really pretty minty greens and stuff I was surprised by. Is this the is this the image that you're pulling up? Yes, this is the accolade. Okay. Talk to me. Oh, that's the accolade that she's working on. Oh, oh okay. yeah, I thought this, this is the one. You... No, sorry. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'll go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought, I thought I lost you. Did I lose? Did I just lose Jade? <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm here sorry, alone. I'm okay. I accidentally uh, <laughs> pressed the back button on this tab instead of on my website tab. Oh, okay. So, oopsie. <laughs> Immediate panic. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, one moment. Uh, finding the tab. Okay, this is the picture that I'm going to talk about. The Cardinal's portrait. So, um, first off, I want to say, like, the background for me, like, personally, the reason why this was one of my choices. This image uh, was in my family's like my like great grandmother's house and my family just knows of it like it, it's just been something that we've always seen because it's been in our house all the time or been mm -hmm. in like you know, our family's houses and um I, we just always liked it and i uh for the longest time thought it was a person painting the pope and i just thought it was so funny because the pope's just like sleeping or falling asleep while it's getting their portrait taken um, mm -hmm. and um i just thought it was like kind of funny because it's like you know this like very noble like prestigious person but in the end they're just they're just a human they get exhausted they like go through everything that everyone else does but you only see them painted literally in a certain light right and um so it always spoke to me and then um obviously since it's a, it was an old masters i was like i have to get this as a diamond painting um, but it's actually a cardinal. It's not a pope. Um, so it is a, like a religious, uh, like figure, but mm -hmm. not the pope. And he's with a monk. Um, as you can tell, there is a rosary. So this is a Catholic painting. Um, uh -huh. but it's just, and that is pretty much the, um, the premise and, and the reasoning behind it. It's like, you know, somebody can be drawn up to be this like fantastical person but in the end they're just a human they're just like everyone else everyone's on the same even playing field yeah that's awesome um yeah i really like that image too and yeah i i noticed that that obviously that kind of theming when i was looking at it is like 
I bet you there's, you know, and I've heard it more, I've heard about it, like when I've been listening to like art history, YouTube and stuff about how painters would paint their subjects like much taller than they actually were, much more handsome or beautiful than they actually were. Like you like notice you never these... draw acne and you know people had acne back then. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And like riding a giant horse, even though they were scared of horses or never rode a horse, like just really kind of hyping them up if they were like of, of importance, you know, or had The money. original Photoshop. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's so cool. Yeah, I am excited to work on that one um, when I order it because those colors. Yeah, so far, the part that I've completed is, let's see, the, I don't, can you see my mouse? Yes. So I've finished this section. So I've finished like a little bit of the doorway and then the wood. Uh huh. So this piece. Yeah. And, um, it's, so much clearer than my old custom. That's awesome. Is that a little pillow, that blue? Yeah, it's a little cushion. Okay. I wonder what DMCs those are going to be. Uh, there was, I think, mm, I'm not going to pretend like I remember. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lori said the accolade is on my wish list. I think Jada Gem Shop wish list is now over 60. Oh my gosh. Jay Lee Lee said, hi, y'all. Hi. Hey. Um, I'm going to, you got to put my shoes on and they're not in this room. Um, let me do one more color and then I've got it. I'm sorry, everyone, but I can't, I can't pass this up. I can't pass up an opportunity. To, <laughs> to I don't think they're going to, I don't think they're going to close down. Like they'll probably just restructure and close a bunch of stores, yeah. but I, I would hate if they're like, okay, all the Colorado ones are gone. But that was still anyway, that's neither here nor there. Is it good? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just for nostalgia's sake. Um, let's see here. I'm, I'm ha the one thing that is tough when I flip a canvas upside down is obviously reading the symbols upside down. Like I have to pay a little bit extra attention. Yeah. But it's working. It's working out for me. I'm excited to sh uh, share my progress. I'll put it on the community tab on my channel too, so everyone can see. But it's looking so good. And just said, rem remember to like the live. Yes, please. And um, yeah, I'd love to see everyone's progress on Instagram with the hashtag. Jaded Jamboree 2024. And then progress can also be posted on the All Things Jaded Gem Shop Facebook group. Yes. Did I get that right? Okay. Yes. And uh, there is a link to, um, under this live, there should be a link to Anthony's channel to the Facebook group so that you can share your progress um, and more information, I think. Yeah. And I'll be sharing three more unboxings over the next three weeks of Jaded Gem Shop kits from our special collaboration. I have the Chasm of Colorado, I have All is Vanity, and the Tree of Life to still unbox and share with everyone. So, and I can't wait. I filmed them all. So I've already opened them all. And holy crap, the Tree of Life is in incredible i cannot wait for everyone to see that one oh, it is I'm glad incredible that you like it. yep uh, there's there's only been a few times where doing an unboxing has like made me emotional and they've always been jaded gem shop kits i do remember you got... saying that about the last supper yeah that uh this one got to me too um oh. fantastic fantastic so i can't wait to share that with everyone i feel so um sad. yeah you're gonna like it, and I need. I'm gonna need your help because um, I want to enhance that one. Okay. So, yeah, I'll. I'll once I get it. Once I get it, uh, the unboxing done or posted. Um, I'll maybe we can just do it as part of the live. Maybe one week yeah. I can just grab it, and you can help me decide. Because, yeah, it's just it's harder for me when there's a lot of confetti, um, because it's like okay, well that 
usually I just pick one DMC and I'm like, okay, everything 666 is going to be yeah. a crystal or an AB. But then like sometimes that might not look the best in a certain area. You yeah, know? I, I specialize in enhancing confetti. Yeah, so that'll that'll really help me out. Thank you so much, Angela, for putting all the the um, the links. We appreciate Thank you, it. Thank you, Angela. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go, um, or I'm gonna let everyone go, so I can go stuff my face full of crab legs and lobster. But oh. um, I will see you next Friday. I'll see you next Friday, Anthony. I hope you have a great okay. uh, great dinner and some mediocre lobster. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You said it. No. I know. I know. I know. But it's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I will. And maybe you know what? Maybe I'll save some and send it to you, huh? Oh no, thanks. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. I okay, love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Let me remove him so it's easier for him. Uh, but I'll stay on for a little bit just so that you guys can still get a full at least hour's worth. I might stay on longer. I might not. I'm not promising anything because your girl, it's it's been a sleepy day. I blame Mars being in retrograde. Yes, I'm one of those astrology girlies. No, I do not care. So is there anything you guys would like to talk about? Um, I'll keep a little bit better eye on the chat. Uh, is is Dragonwing Diamond here? If I am correct, you're the one I'm collaborating with, right? I'm such a sleepy girl today. Yes. Um, so, uh, Dragonwing, is it okay if I announce it? Your, your name is Mackenzie, I'm pretty positive. Um, but it, it took me a bit to connect your Discord picture with your, like, YouTube picture. So I was, like, not connecting that you were the same person. But um, let me know if I can talk about what we're doing. But right now I'm just doing a small color block kit in between... Uh, doing my massive old masters because you know you got to take some breaks here and there or else you're going to go insane so Mackenzie or Dragonwing Diamonds um she offered to be my like like video short form videographer um, so she's going to be posting on my TikTok and uh, I'll be adding those as reels and like YouTube, YouTube um, little scrolly gigs. Um, and they're going to be, it's going to be a mix of like mini unboxings and um, like ASMR and like different things. Just, you know, those really satisfying, relaxing uh, TikTok diamond painting videos, you know what I mean? Um, and she's already like shown me a tester and I'm excited because like me, I was only ever decent at doing the ASMR ones, but I want it to be more than that. And I'm too busy to be doing those frequently anyway. Like I haven't posted one in months. So, um, shorts, yes, YouTube shorts. And, uh, so that's going to be super exciting. And, um, oh, I finished your pen dragon wing, Mackenzie. Um, it's going to, it's going to throw me off saying both. Also, okay. So those of you who are fans of Forever Sticky, someone gave me the idea. Um, so as you know, like I make, uh, like Forever Sticky filling and I make a uh, diamond painting putty. Let me, let me share that on the screen. So let's go to add-ons, accessories, Jada Gem Tack putty. So this is the Forever Sticky there. It's like a clear gel cleanable feeling. And then here is the putty, which is, you know, just your regular putty. Somebody gave me the idea. Now, this one is, like, uncolored, so, like, ignore that because um, I haven't added the coloring yet because I was experimenting. 
uh, but somebody suggested that I mix them together to see if I get like a more like usable or, or like more user friendly version of the um, clear putty. And dude, it works. Like it, it's, it's like, it's still harder to, harder to use than putty, but it's definitely more manageable than just the straight up forever sticky. So I don't know if I should add like a combo mixture to the shop or if people want to mix their own. Um, but all I did was I took all of the dots on the little page, like on these little leaflets, I took these little dots and I just covered a ball of my putty and then just like stretched it and cut it and stretched it and cut it and stretched it and cut it. And then now it's this nice little putty and it is still like harder. Like it is a very firm product, but it works just as well as like the straight up forever sticky, but it's like more user friendly, I suppose. So I don't know if that's something I should like investigate more in um, or if I should just like make a video on how to do that if you have putty and the forever sticky. Oh. Are there any Taylor Swift fans here? If Bev was here, she'd be making fun of me. But Bev's busy today, so she can't make fun of me, can she? Um, I listened to the new Taylor Swift album. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Like, it's fine, but it's not... It's not like Evermore or for, for, folklore, you know? Um, and I mean, you get a lot of interesting information about her like exploits with her ex, but like, I don't know. None of the songs really speak to me like songs from her other albums do. So I don't know, what are like for, for you Swifties? who have listened to the uh, new album, like, what are your thoughts on it? Because a few of the things I was a little shocky talking about, but also, like, I don't know. I'd like to, I'd like to get more people's opinions on it. But so far, the only one that, um, that really like I liked a lot personally was um I think it's don't be afraid of little old me I could be wrong on the name but it's something like that something afraid of little old me so I mean but then again it could just be it hasn't grown on me yet but I really do like that one song but I feel like Taylor's other albums, they usually sound like the songs on the album, like they flow together, but they don't sound super similar to each other. Whereas this one, to me, they all sound pretty similar, except for the ones with Post Malone and Florence and the Machine. Um, but it, it could just be, I haven't, like, I've or I've listened to it too much. Did you feel? So what are you guys doing on this lovely Friday afternoon? I actually, hold on, I'm going to post something because a certain item came in. So we have more ready to ship items that came in. Let's see. Seven thinking, ready to ship, ready to ship. Give me my keyboard. I want a snack. The snack that smiles back, goldfish.
Let's see if it works. Not yet. Why is it not working? Why are you not working? Not me casually doing work while I'm on live. Um, I don't know. It feels like a very like weird sleepy day. I don't know if it feels like that for you. Like I had a really hard time waking up today, and uh, That's suspicious. That's weird. There we go. So uh, we have a new ready to ship kit available. Hello, Sophie. Hello. Jade, how large is too large for a cross stitch conversion? Um, so I say the stitch count shouldn't go over 400 on, on one length if you want it to be manageable you should keep it where it's like 250 by 300 or 350 like nothing bigger than that like i mean you could if you want to be crazy but even those are really large personally if you haven't done a cross stitch conversion i recommend doing a miniature one we have several miniature ones on the site um and trust me for i figured out that that was not for me by doing a mini cross stitch conversion Jade, if we get a ready to ship kit, do we have the option of adding glimmer drills? Yes, but they would be added on the side. They would not be charted in. I was playing Dead Island 2 when the live started, but now I'm drawing attention. Hello, Angela. You know I love you, girl. Step, step the cat. I'm going frame to frame the warrior tomorrow. It's almost 3 a.m. here. Oh, my goodness. Are you tired? I can't wait to see that frame, though. That's going to look amazing. Or you're the one who did the 80 by 100 of it, right? It's a sleepy day here too. My stepson's missed the bus today because we all overslept. Dude, it it I'm telling you, it's the Mars and Rush crew. Excuse me. Lots of seafood in New Jersey here at the shore. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a seafood person. Got it. Thanks. Trying a mini conversion kit is a great idea. Yeah, that's the main reason why I created them because it's like. It, when you go too big, you get overwhelmed and you're like, I spent all of this money on this massive cross-stitch conversion and I don't even know if I like it. You know what I mean? I've napped almost every day this week. I've napped three times this week and that's insane. And at first I was thinking it was my medication, but I really don't think it is. Ugh. I need a nap. Uh, 
and like I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry for anything like like anything I have, if that makes sense. The mermaid bath or the sirena? That's how I feel when I'm on my period. That's a mood. Looking about to start my bedtime routine here in my ear. Oh my gosh, what time is it there, Sophie? Is it like 8 p.m. there? I'm just like, I don't know. Would you guys prefer I got off live? Because I'm like very, very scatterbrained right now. Like I'm fine being on here, but I feel like I'm being very quiet and like irritating. Maybe if I grab a little snacky snack, like specifically a Okay, I'm back on the live. <laughs> Hello, Lexi. 9 p.m. on the East Coast? Jesus, I forgot how much of a time difference there is. Both mermaids are gorgeous. It's completely up to you. Anything else you want me to link before you head out? Um, just that I, um, maybe list Sophie's Discord because I think it's useful. Like, that's just a really nice place to hang out with people. Um, and I love Sophie's Discord. So maybe link Sophie's Discord. So anybody, if you like Discord or you want to get on it, like Sophie's Discord is the bomb, the crafter's den. And we have like a special uh, mystery kit that we're doing on there. And then uh, they also, Sophie is so freaking kind and made a section for uh, the Jaded Jamboree. Um, they have sections where you can talk about, like, movies and music and stuff. They have a section where you can show your whips, a section for advice, venting, and stuff like that. Um, th pretty much, like, if, 
it's like a better version of a crafting Facebook group because everyone actually talks back to you. And it's not just like you shouting into the ether like, hey, I did this thing. It's like, hey, friends, let me show this thing. And everybody's like, oh, my God, bitch slay, you know. I love the whips on on there. JGS all the way. I love you, Sophie. Sophie. But yeah, so if you haven't, definitely join Sophie's Discord. Um, I'm going to also link her Discord. Uh, man, it won't let me copy. I want to copy the comment. I was going to copy it and post it to the description, but I will try doing that later. Um, is there any... <laughs> bitch, I'm going to start saying, uh, saying bitch slay. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Serena too much. Can you tell? Uh, me and her, like, we're becoming one person. We're being fused and, and just evolving. Um, but is there anything you guys want to say, want to get out, want to talk about before I head out? Or are we good to go? I'll stay here for a minute while I wait for that. My fingers smell like strawberries because my putty is strawberry scented. And it's not so strong. Ooh, I wonder if you guys can hear my husband snoring. He's so cute. I like it when he snores. It makes me well, it makes me sleepy. That's probably why I'm sleepy because or sleepy. Keep up the good work. We love your kids and look forward to Thursday every week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um okay, I love you guys. I'm gonna head out, probably take a nap with my husband and because I deserve it. So Sounds like my husband sounds like a chainsaw. Uh, but I love you guys. I'll see you guys next week. And Anthony will most likely be with me again. So um, thank you guys for being here. I love you all. And I'll see you next week. Bye.